डॉक्टर उस्मा से लंगू होने पेरेस वाले का इन चित्रदुर्ग डिस्ट्रिक्ट देर वाज अ ग्रेट मैन हिस नेम वाज मल्लारी हिल में श्री राजा बेंद्र स्वामी जी at the age of 85 he was more energetic than kids kids struggled to match his energy levels you may wonder how he managed to have such high energy levels at that age my dear guests and the most advanced toastmasters good evening good evening today let's understand energy and see how that can help us to enhance our life 100 years ago modern science said everything is matter Today, modern science says everything is energy. Modern science has proved that the entire existence is just a vibration of energy, and that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It only moves from one form to the other. We are one such form, and the energy within us is called as life energy, prana shakti in Sanskrit. When we were kids, we were full of energy. Our parents struggled to handle us, but now, look at us. Where are those energies? Even we want to be full of energy until the last moment of our life, right? Is there a way to achieve it? Yes, there is one. Indian and Chinese cultures have done enormous work on enhancing life energies. They have used every aspect of the human system to enhance the life energy. Now, let's see what they have done. first exercise many of us remember this word only when lord yama appears as calling bell in our life <laughs> the perfect exercise is the one which takes all the one of its chakras to the healthy state just like blood flowing through blood vessels just like brain signals flowing through nerves our life energy flows through nadis there are more than 72000 nadis in our body these nadis intersect at 108 points called as chakras or marmas these are energy centers out of this 108 chakras 64 are called as kula marmas these points can be used to heal or to harm when these be like when these points are pierced hard it could result in trauma even death in varma kale they use this 108 marma points to defeat the enemy In the film Indian, the Varma Kali is well demonstrated. In the ancient medical systems such as Siddha, Ayurveda, and Acupuncture, these hundred and eight Varma points are used to heal. The exercise that helps us to keep all these hundred and eight Varma points at their healthy state is the perfect exercise. Yoga is one such exercise. Daily practice in twelve Surya Namaskars along with thirty-two core asanas keeps us at the ultimate well-being. Kalpa Yoga, the mother of all martial arts, is based on yoga. A Kalpa Yoga warrior can fight for hours without losing energy. You can just start with practicing simple asanas and Surya Namaskars. If you are a high energy person, you can start practicing Kalpa Yoga. It is amazing. Second, we know that prana means life. Prana Vayu means oxygen. In yoga, the practice that uses oxygen to enhance our life energy is called as pranayama or kriyas. You may wonder how it is possible to enhance the life energy by using just oxygen. You can do an experiment. Just do 300 kapala badis and see what happens within you. Observe the amount of energy you obtain. With that energy, you can do all your daily activities efficiently and effectively. Our fellow Toastmaster Rajdeep Balwani does couple of it. Last, our favorite, food. Food is the primary source of our body for energy. In Ayurveda, food is classified as sattvic, rajasic, and tamasic. Simply, positive pranic food, negative pranic food, and zero pranic food. Positive pranic food provides energy for us. Negative pranic food takes away life energy from us. 
zero chronic food neither provides energy nor takes away energy. It is just given for taste, useless load for our body. Neither chronic foods are very few in number. If you avoid them, you are safe. They are onion, garlic, brinjal, non veg, and all stimulants such as tea, coffee, alcohol, and soft drinks such as Coca Cola. I know I have taken all the favorite foods. <laughs> Please note that onion and garlic are wonderful medicines, but not good food. Tomato and potato are eaten only for taste. They are zero pranic food. They don't have life in it. The rest of the foods are all positive pranic. We can eat everything. Ash gourd and lemon are the richest sources of life energy. That is the reason in Indian culture, ash gourd and lemon are given so much importance. You can't see a puja or a housewarming ceremony happening without lemon or ash gourd. Am I right? Ash curd juice is the bee's knees. I rank it above mango juice, my favorite juice. Not just because it has high life energy content, but also because of its rich taste, especially when you mix it with a little salt and pepper. Let's eat positive pranic food and live a healthy life. Sergeant at arms, there are two sergeant arms today. Okay, during breaks, instead of providing <laughs> dry snacks and biscuits. Let's provide dry food ladu. <laughs> Instead of uh, providing regular coffee and tea, let's provide honey lime. Friends, let's eat high energetic positive pranic food. Let's do asanas, kalagar pairetto, kriya. Let's increase our energy to the enormous level and live a peaceful and blissful life. Let's venerate all these ancient wonderful skills so that we can live a wonderful life like Mandarin is from you. Thanks to us.